Hello students, thank you for visiting my channel. Be ready with your drawing instruments and sketchbook and follow the construction. In this video, we are going to solve some more problems on cycloid. A circle of diameter 50 mm rolls without slipping on a line that makes 30 degrees with the horizontal. Trace path of a point on the circumference of the circle. Take initial position of the point in contact with the line. If you have not watched my first video, watch that first and then come to this video. Now first of all, draw a proper horizontal line. I have explained to you earlier how to draw that horizontal line. If it is very first horizontal line on your drawing paper, set a roller with horizontal edge of drawing paper, roll it and draw the horizontal line. Now with reference to this horizontal line, use protractor and draw a line at an angle 30 degrees. This should be center line. Now perpendicular to the center line, use a protractor in this way. Remember, axis of symmetry of protractor must be along the center line so that straight edge of the protractor will give you the other center line. Guiding line makes angle 30 degrees and that is why we have drawn the center line, first center line at an angle 30 degrees. So once you get center, you complete the circle. Here circle has diameter 50 millimeters so take radius 25 millimeter in compass now draw the guiding line now this is that guiding line at an angle 30 degrees we have already drawn this first line here at an angle 30 degrees so set a roller with this line and then roll the roller to draw a line at an angle 30 degrees so now visualize that this circle rolls on this inclined line at an angle 30 degrees along this inclined line measure distance pi d calculated value of pi d is 157 point something the least count of our drawing instrument is a 1 millimeter so 0.1 millimeter you will not able to measure so my suggestion is measure 158 millimeters with reference to this inclined line measure 45 degrees and this is how you divide circle in 8 parts Check the direction of rotation. Initial position is in contact with the guiding line. So in clockwise order, you label all those points. Now divide length pi d in 8 parts. So at this end of that length pi d, this is that length pi d. At left end here, draw a line at certain angle. This angle as I told you earlier, any convenient angle. Now mark 8 divisions on this line so just follow the procedure I have explained you earlier right now we want to divide length pi d in 8 equal parts and this is how we have divided length pi d in 8 equal parts remember length pi d we have made thick on this guiding line we have labeled eight positions of the circle. Extend the center line which is a parallel to the guiding line. This is path of the center line and on this path of the center line we are going to mark eight positions of centers. So this is initial position of center and then mark other positions of the center in order. So C1, C2, C3, C4, C5, C6, C7 and C8. Now from all these points which we have labeled on the circle, from those points parallel to guiding lines, draw the lines. You are going to use a roller for that purpose. So set roller with the guiding line and roll it upwards to draw lines through all these numbered points. Now take radius in compass and start cutting this line from c1 you are going to cut first line but check here point 1 is above the center so take care of that so from c1 first line you have cut and similarly from c2 second line from c3 third line from c4 you cut fourth line from c5 you cut fifth line from c6 you cut sixth line from c7 you cut seventh line and from C8 you cut 8th line and this is how you will get 8 different positions of point P. Initial position is in contact with the ground and then join all these points. Final position is again in contact with the fixed line and this is how we have completed the curve. 
insert all dimensions so diameter of the circle is 50 mm and distance pi d and this guiding line is at an angle 30 degrees with horizontal as i have told you you should insert dimensions after completing the drawing let's proceed a 40 mm diameter circle rolls without slipping on a fixed horizontal line draw locus of a point on the circumference of the circle that is initially 32 mm above the fixed line and on the left side of the center of the rolling circle as usual you proceed locate the center this is initial position of center guiding line is horizontal line major length pi d because in one revolution circle rolls a distance pi d divide that distance pi d in eight parts so use a regular procedure to divide a line in n number of parts here we are dividing length pi d in eight parts now you are familiar with this procedure so follow the procedure label these eight points these are eight positions of the circle these are simply eight intermediate positions we are going to mark here so label those positions c1 c2 c3 c4 c5 and so on c8 eighth position now where is initial position of the point on the circumference 32 millimeters above the fixed line so from fixed line 32 millimeters so on the circle on circumference of the circle 32 millimeters from the fixed line and on the left side of the center of the rolling circle we have marked the point so this is initial position watch here now with reference to this point check here we are drawing line from that point so with reference to this point you draw a diameter and with reference to this diameter you divide circle in eight parts so check here what i mean set protractor with the new diameter we have drawn and then measure 45 degrees and 90 degrees in this manner 45 90 45 degrees again and divide this line watch here with reference to this point marked here it is perpendicular diameter so from initial position of the point we have drawn a diameter and perpendicular to that another diameter and from all these points we are going to draw these diameters so this is how we have divided circle in eight parts check here with reference to initial position at 45 degrees this is the first point then again at 45 degrees it is second point and this is how eight points on the circumference we have marked remember with reference to initial position that is given in the problem so watch here this is zeroth position so first position second position third fourth fifth sixth and again eighth position so initially that is very first problem we solved initial position was in contact with the ground in second problem if you remember initial position was the highest point now here initial position is given here 32 millimeters above the ground and on the left side of the center so with reference to this initial position you should mark eight points on the circumference of the circle the way i have told you just now now follow the procedure from all these labeled points draw horizontal lines check here from sixth point from seven point so from each of these points which you have marked you draw horizontal line and now because when you will draw the curve cycloid you will be interested in knowing highest point on the curve and for that purpose from the highest point on the circle which we have not labeled here but still from this highest point draw a horizontal line which i have drawn here with red color watch so this is something new i have told you here now take radius in compass and from c1 you cut the first line of course this is the initial position that's why i've labeled it as p0 now from c1 first line check here on which side point 1 is 
initially point 1 is on the left side of center so from c1 you should cut on the left side and not on the right side so from c1 we have cut first line from c2 cut the second line but what your second point is on the right side of center check initial in the initial position so that you will realize where exactly the horizontal line should be cut so from c2 cut the second horizontal line be careful check carefully or trace carefully the second line now from c3 cut the third point third line from c4 cut the fourth line watch here the, here is that four, point number 4 and this is the fourth line from c5 cut the fifth line from c6 cut the sixth line now watch here sixth point is on the left side of the center so here from c6 you should cut on the left side from c7 cut the seventh line from c8 cut the eighth line and this is the last position also note here point 1 and point 2 between these two points the highest point is so when you draw the curve between p1 and p2 that curve must touch this highest line this red colored line so watch here p1 and then curve touches the red line watch here the curve touches the red line here so manage that and complete the curve so this is the curve cycloid now insert all given dimensions diameter is 40 mm length pi d and 32 mm distance initial position of point p guiding line of length pi d the rolling circle in initial position and the curve only these three details in the diagram must be thick means dark all other lines are thin lines faint line or construction lines including all dimension lines all these lines are thin lines remember i hope you have enjoyed the video so subscribe my channel like the video share video with your friends and come back again thank you thank you so much